to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of masculine spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. And soup up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now, here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Aloha and welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. We just got back from our pilgrimage to Greece uh, with uh, J Father Jason Valiant there and the other members of the pilgrimage. Uh, we went to um, Thessaloniki, Philippi, Berea, Athens, Corinth, uh, Ephesus. We went uh, even to Patmos where John was and we went to Crete. So we had an incredible like 11 day just grinding expedition, but it was really cool uh, getting to go on that pilgrimage. And I hope you guys can join us next time. We're actually going to be having something pretty cool coming up in December. We're having our annual luau in Cocoa Beach, Florida. It's one evening. It'll be a Friday evening, I think the first or second week of December. And then we're going to follow that by a five day cruise. And uh, I'll be, we're going to be uh, going into the, the uh, leaving right here from Cocoa Beach to go into uh the Bahamas and Puerto Rico and that area, we'll make a few stops where we can go to some kind of cool uh, churches and stuff, but mainly on the ship itself. While we're at sea for a couple hours every day, I'm going to be teaching on the seven virtues. So uh, go to our website, deepadventure.com. We're going to start talking about that pretty soon. Um, but while I was coming home from our pilgrimage, I was in the, in the airport at Athens and uh, sitting in the Air France lounge there. And there were a couple of young men that I thought, these are kind of good looking young men. They're like probably in their late twenties. And uh, they looked successful and just kind of talked story with them, with my wife and I. And then after a while, I asked them, are you guys dating anybody? Are you seeing anybody? And one of them goes, well, I, I have a girlfriend. I've been seeing her for two and a half years. And the other guy goes, well, there's someone I'm kind of interested in. And so I asked him this question. If you uh, found that you were with a woman that you really liked, you thought you could spend your life with her, uh, would you ask her to marry her, marry you? Would you uh, once get engaged, would you set a date? And one of the guys goes, absolutely, if I found someone that I thought I could, uh, be mar could live with the rest of my life, I would ask her to marry me. The other guy said, well, I'm not so sure if I want to stay with this girl or not. So I, my words to them were basically this to, this, that, to that one guy. I said, you know what? If you've been dating a girl for two and a half years and you're not sure if you want to marry her or not, you got to bounce. You either got to bounce and let her free, go free and go find a man that will really be true to her, or you need to ask her to marry you, get real, and set a wedding date and start a family. Um, I'm challenging men right now. There are men that are young men uh, that are bigger teases than high school girls. You know, I hear, I hear in the modern hookup uh, sort of culture that we have, men will go, I took this girl out three times and, you know, we made out, but she never, we never had sex, which I'm not condoning at all, of course. And they'll accuse that woman of being a tease. But the biggest teases I know, the, the high school girls, really, if you want to really want to get down to it, are the men who date women and don't ask the question. They don't say, will you marry me? And when they say yes, you don't say, well, let's set a date. You might put an engagement ring on them and not marry them for years. I know young men. I know older men that have, that have maybe they've been through a divorce and an annulment or whatever. They'll be dating a woman forever and they never ask the question. They never uh, step forward. So first of all, I'm telling the women, don't put up with that behavior anymore. You're a better woman than that. You deserve a better than, man than that. And if you're a man out there and you've been uh, uh, teasing a woman along for, for years, grow up. Either bounce and let her free and let her go find a real man, or you make a full commitment to her. So uh, I, I said that to those young men, and they really responded to it in a visceral way. I think they really, I think they really liked it. And I'm just going to challenge everyone out there listening. It's time for men to be men again. My new book will be coming out maybe in the next six months. I'm working on it called... Bears a uh, man cave rules. See what it's 26 rules for manliness, the antidote to the toxic masculinity scam. And uh, men need to be virtuous again. Men need man up. And uh, one of those men that I really uh, admire is on the show with us today. Uh, Pete Sox is with us. He's the, uh, he has the show off the shelf, the podcast off the shelf. And he runs our social media for us here too. The thing I like about Pete is I've known him now for probably th over three years and he, he, stick, he does what he says he's going to do. He makes a commitment and he sticks to it. And uh, believe me, even in ministry, you work with people that are, you know, say, well, I'm a Christian, I'm a Catholic or whatever, but they, they don't follow through. They don't do their job. And one thing about Pete is he, I can 100% count on him doing what, 
what he says he's going to do. So, Pete, what do you think about what I said to those young men? I think you're spot on. I know a couple of men like that as well that, uh, you know, they don't – it's almost like they're not brave enough to, to take that final step, and, and it, that's a – that's a character flaw. <laughs> it may not even it may not even be bravery. It might just be selfishness. Like I can get what I mm-hmm. want from this woman without making a commitment. And they're like high school. They're worse than high school uh, girls. Yeah. You know, they're teasing these women. And the, and women, if you're with a man like that, it's time for you to set yourself free. Or men, if you're like that, you need to tell her, look, I'm not going to marry you and go on with your life or you need to man up and get married to him. So, mm-hmm. you know, the thing about our ministry, Pete, is that uh, as much as men love our ministry, the women love it even more. Yeah, I've noticed that over the years working with you as well. Yeah, they loved. They love that. They love that. They women love real men, mm. and they love it when we uh, encourage men to be manly. So, Pete and I have a kind of a special show for you today. Uh, it's Father's Day is coming up for one, and so Pete and I are going to kind of Pete's going to kind of reverse course and kind of interview me for my own show and talk about our ministry and stuff like that. So, Pete, I'll kind of hand it over to you. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, the idea behind this show again is is to introduce everyone to the entire ministry and and familiarize everybody with it and see what all's out there. Because there's a, you do a lot of work there. There's a lot of content that that you churn out, and uh, I think it's important that people understand what it is you offer. Uh, And one of those things that you know I've been with you from the beginning of its inception is your uh, reality TV show, Long Ride Home. Uh, I was with you in season one, actually went down and, and met with you in New Jersey when you were there. Or I was season two when you were filming. Um, but um, I was helping with promotion of season one. So to familiarize people with it, what is Long Ride Home and, and what inspired you to do that show? I think Mother Angelic <laughs> inspired <laughs> me. But, uh, the Holy Spirit action plan, as Jason Jones, my friend, and I uh, say. But, you know, we really wanted to find a way to reach the guy in the black pickup truck that would scan the TV uh, uh, dials and, and just skip right over uh, EWTN. Uh, EWTN thinks of themselves as a catechetical network. So if you're a Catholic and you love the Lord, you're fine. But if you don't know the Lord, there's nothing about that that will really grab your attention. So we figured guys riding motorcycles in cinematic-type quality show would grab people's attention. You know, I met with Monsignor Gino over there at the Vatican a couple of years ago, he said, he asked me more about our show. And he said, there's no one I know that's doing what you're doing. He said, people come to our, our come to me every day with a new evangelistic program. And I'm pretty honest with them. I just tell them, don't bother. It's a program that's not going to work uh, because it's just a program. But what you're doing is blood and guts and reality. And it's reaching across the, it'll reach people that have never even been in a church or even thought about going to a church. And so he was really uh, endorsed us and uh, challenged us. He, first, thing, first question he asked me is, how are you getting your funding? And I said, right now, we just trust in the Lord uh, to provide. You know, EWTN uh, doesn't pay us at all for this radio show, and they pay about maybe one-fourth of our budget for our TV show. So there's about, about 15000 a month that we have to come up, up with to do the content that we do above and beyond uh, uh, the, the, the stipends that EW10 does for our TV show. So I just said we trust in the Lord, and the Lord has done some miraculous things for us. But every day we kind of wonder what's going to happen next, you know? Mm-hmm. For sure. Now, uh, Long Ride Home, Season 1, out on DVD, distributed by EWTN, but you also have Season 2 and Season 3 that's being edited now. How can people get access to those? Well, it's, uh, it's so cool. See? It's so cool. EWTN... Uh, there's our show, but also the Armed Forces Network does. In fact, just mm-hmm. in the last month, I've had a guy from the Philippines and someone from Japan saying they've been watching it on the Armed Forces Network again. And it's on iTunes and Prime Video and Google Play. But the coolest thing you could do for us as a ministry is go to our website, deepadventure.com, and become a Patreon donor. I think the way it's set up is if you donate, if you, if you donate 25 a month, which we really appreciate the monthly donors the most because it helps us budget our own work. If you do that, we send you all of season one, access to all of season one. We also send you access to all of season two before it even airs on EWTN, right? So people right now get all of season two. The problem with Long Ride Home viewers who really love it is a lot of them have only seen half the episodes. They never quite catch the right episode when they're they're watching television. So 
Um, they can go, go to our website, deepadventure.com, and become a Patreon donor. We'll send them access to all of season one. Also, you get the director's cut of season two. Like yeah. there's certain things that maybe um, EWTN will say that's not going to quite fit for the EWTN market, but there's some cool stuff in there. Like we go into a Harley store and we spend, uh, you know, six or seven minutes looking at all the cool new bikes. You know, a lot of people are interested in the new Milwaukee engine. Um, we talk shop and stuff like that that EWTN doesn't really want, but a lot of our viewers would love to watch. That's all in the director's cut. So you get the director's cut. Also, so you can get 100% of that right now, but also season three, we're editing right now. And uh, season season uh, three, as soon as we get the first episode done, you can view it even before we send it to EWTN. So, And it's so cool. Season one, everybody probably knows, we rode our motorcycles from uh, Cocoa Beach, Florida to San Diego and then up to Monterey. Season two, we rode with Archbishop Wenske from Cocoa Beach down to Key West and then all the way up to New Jersey and down the Blue Ridge Parkway, and then we took on the deadly, the deadliest road in America, uh, the Tale of the Dragon, 318 esterns and 11 miles. So go to our website, deepadventure.com, and, and help us. Uh, you can become a patron. You can become a donor at as low as $5 a month, but if you give $25 a month, you get access to all that stuff. And everyone that becomes a Patreon donor gets uh, my, my newest book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue. Talking with Pete Sox, we'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Aloha and welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. This is your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. I want to thank uh, our, the two members of our production company, Shot Film Productions, for the great work they do in, in, fil- in, in directing and filming and assisting in writing and doing setting up all the computer equipment that we need. And you, if you went to our editing uh, studio, you would see massive computers and video displays and stuff I don't even know how to make run. We're very thrifty in what we do there, Pete. We we do uh, we have uh, we build our own computers, for example, uh, and we so and those same people that edit our TV show right now are the producers of this radio show. They're the ones helping us do this show right now. And then we have uh, Bill Snyder who does the post production on the radio show, and then we have you, Pete Sox, who does who does all of our social media. And we have Kim Sunderman out in Texas who does some of that too. So um, doing uh, doing Deep Adventure Ministries has become kind of a big team. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So yeah. we have Pete Sox with us. He's with he, his show is off the shelf on Breadbox Media, but he's interviewing me today uh, mm-hmm. about uh, Deep Adventure Ministry. So go ahead, Pete. So we talked about Long Ride Home last segment. I guess one of the things to talk about also is this radio show itself. Um, the format of it is available on YouTube as well, and you have a, a huge amount of stuff available on YouTube. So let's talk about that a little bit, how people can access your YouTube channel, mm. this radio show, and, and whatnot with that. Yeah, what we're asking today is people come up to me, they love the show, especially women. I mean, Pete, women are viscerally react to what we're doing because they really, women really want real men again mm-hmm. in their lives. They want their sons to understand what manliness is. Women really do, a lot of women, believe it or not, really like men. <laughs> they don't. They don't think of them as toxic masculinity. They they really really want men to be men again, so they love this uh, ministry. Um, our radio show, the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We've done a lot of which is a lot of effort uh, to do it on a video format too. So people can go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. It's the Bear Wozniak. It's Bear Wozniak on YouTube, and subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, you uh, you get the radio show. Uh, in the video format. So you can see what Pete, <laughs> let me describe what you're missing. If you listen to this on radio, <laughs> you're missing Pete socks, uh, wearing his lamp over his head. He's got a little lamp in the background, just about where his halo used to be. Yes. I think since he's with me, maybe his halo doesn't work so much, but you'd be seeing Pete socks and, uh, you would see some kind of stars and a moon uh, yes. on the ceilings in the background. And I think if I really look closely, I see beanie bag- babies or something. You do. I've commandeered one of the children's rooms for this. <laughs> <laughs> so it does get more, more organic than that, right? So, That's right. Yeah, people who, who uh, enjoy listening on an EWTN, you, when you uh, go to the Bear Wozniak uh, YouTube channel and subscribe, you get to actually view it. And mm-hmm. uh, if, you go, if you go to deepadventure.com and subscribe to our newsletter, Pete sends you the radio show, uh, 
uh, I think a day before it even airs or in the morning before it even airs. Saturday, Saturday morning. Saturday, Saturday days, morning. Yeah. yeah. So what's cool about that is people who love our ministry, especially the women, you know, oh, I wish my son would listen to this. Well, you can. You can just get the, get the newsletter and forward it to him. Mm-hmm. And he'll have that show, or you can go to uh, you can go to the the Bear Wozniak YouTube channel. By the way, we need 350, 345 more subscribers, and then YouTube will blow us up. Then then we can do a lot more stuff on YouTube. We have to have a minimum number of hours viewed, which we have tons of viewership, tons of viewers, tons of hours of people watching. But we need three hundred and forty five more subscribers. So please. Even while you're listening to this, go to YouTube and press the Bear Wozniak subscribe button, the button on, on the Bear Wozniak channel. You're going to love it. You know, we, you know what's kind of one of the most watched videos I have? Uh, we used no, to have a lot of the Long Ride Home shows on there, but we had to take them down when we put them up on iTunes. Mm-hmm. One, I think the most watched video is me uh, tandem surfing with Angelica Bankstrom. She became an Olympic mm. pole vaulter. And okay. so I'm taking it. You can see us tandem surfing in Waikiki, and I remember she was about 17 at the time, and she wasn't sure what college she should go through. I think she came from, I don't know, Sweden or one of the Scandinavian countries. And so I took her out tandem surfing, and I go to her dad, you know what, this girl is really good. She's really athletic. I mean, I hardly had to lift her. When she jumped to go into these overhead lifts, I almost had to stop her from accelerating. <laughs> so, I mean, so we have all my tandem surfing videos, too, for people who are curious about that. On the YouTube channel, we have my Ocean Sunrise Catechism, which we'll talk about more later probably, but... Every morning, wherever I am in the world, at 7 a.m. bear time, most days, I don't always get to it, I'd flip on my camera. So if you were with us in Greece, and I was in Greece, you were watching it at 7 a.m. Greece time. And I do, I read right from the catechism. And we spend about 15 minutes together every morning. You go to uh, Bear, the, uh, bear Wozniak. What's it called? Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure Ministries. Deep, Ministries. Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure Ministries. Page. Because mm-hmm. I got too many friends, you can't friend me, but you go to Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure Ministries fan page and become a follower there. And then when the show comes on, you get notified about it. But you can, we have, we, we really take the catechism. And we've been doing this now for two and a half years. And we go line by line by line. I think now we're up to about uh, paragraph 2600. And when we're done with the catechism, we're going to start over and do it again because it's so rich. But a lot of the times you're seeing the ocean rise behind me. Mm-hmm. And I've noticed on the days when uh, it's a beautiful ocean sunrise behind me, instead of me being in a hotel lobby doing it, I'll get three times as many viewers. So mm. it's, again, something that you can share with your, your, your non-Catholic friends or your Catholic friends or your family. Uh, so, yeah, so the Ocean Sunrise Catechism is one of the reasons you want to go to the Bear Wozniak YouTube channel. we got something really cool we're doing now, too, something totally different. It's called Bear Wozniak Unchained. Right, right. Now, you got to explain it. What is that? What is it's that? Basically, what, in, what inspired that? <laughs> I, I wanted to be able to do whatever I wanted to do sometimes instead of living inside this narrow box of, uh, like the radio show, is a very, it's a certain demographic and a certain scope of what I talk about. But like when we were in, uh, in, uh, in um, Greece, I knew that Cindy was going to, there was this place, in, oh, we were in uh, Ephesus. And I knew that in Turkey, they do this funny thing with ice cream where you, the guy's giving you a scoop of ice cream and somehow you never quite get it in your hand. Two and a half minutes of him messing with you. So we just videotaped having fun with that, you know. But also on Unchained, I can rant about anything I want to. Like I ranted uh, when I was in front of Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. I said, you know, there's these riots going on. Like, luckily, we weren't there on a Saturday when they have them. Only the French would, would limit their riots to Saturdays, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, the yellow vests come out. And they're all upset because there's going to be a billion dollars donated to rebuilding the cathedral. And I'm like, mm-hmm. dudes, think about it, dudes. That's a billion dollars going into the, that part of the city, a billion dollars worth of jobs. And then those right. people who earn that billion are going to spend money and money and money. It's a way to revitalize the whole, it, all that they're protesting about can be handled because the cathedral is going to be rebuilt. So I might mm-hmm. rant about that or I might uh, talk about uh, whatever football game was, was on or, you know, I, it's, I could talk about whatever I want to. And that's the on-chained. When you go to the Bear Wozniak YouTube channel, there's different playlists. There's the Ocean Sunrise yes. Catechism. There's the, the Bear Wozniak Adventure. There's my surfing channel. There's the Long Ride Home channel. And then there's the on-chained channel. There's a whole channel just about it. my two or three times a day when I, when I went live with, uh, with our pilgrimage, mm-hmm. the Greece pilgrimage. So it's, it's, it's a great channel. We get tons and tons of viewers, but... What we really need is for you guys to go there to the Bear Wozniak YouTube channel, 
press the subscribe button. It may not mean a lot to you, but it means a lot to us because we need 345 more subscribers. And then bingo, YouTube will start promoting our site. Mm -hmm, for sure. Now, another thing that I think we should talk about is you, you have a newly redesigned website. It's a, it's a great design. We're loading it up with a bunch of content. It's really easy to get around. Um, tell us a little bit about that. But you tell us about it. Oh. You're the one. You, you, it's your <laughs> fault that we we went to Johnny Kickstarter, right, Johnny Finn? You tell him about this website. All right. So the website um, just went through a huge total uh, redesign about a month, month and a half ago. Um, it's it's a. I really like the design. Very clean. It's very easy to get around, and it has. You have portals to get to everything we talked about and more. Um, you can click on Long Ride Home and learn about the show. You can click on Bear Wozniak Adventure uh, and get access to the YouTube channels uh, from there. Uh, there's the Bear's Man Cave, which we haven't talked about yet, which we can talk about uh, maybe in the next segment. Ocean Sunrise Catechism, all these portals from the site lead you to YouTube. So uh, it's real clean. I uh, love the design. And it gives us an ability at Deep Adventure Ministries to communicate with our followers better probably than what we've had since Ever. I've been with you. <laughs> and, it's, and it's your fault because you said, I know who you should have designed this site. And we went to John Flynn. And I forget who I was interviewing, uh, Peter Novakowski, maybe, I think it was. Uh, and he was going, dude, I saw your website. This looks like John. And he looks at the bottom. This is a John Flynn website. He knew it was. <laughs> and it's just, it just, it just, and it works good on iPads and on iPhones too. So mm -hmm. I just think, so go to our website. It, what we could tell people to do is, Go out to our website and subscribe to our newsletter. Right. And then, you know, our, you know, the problem with us, the problem is, like, our newsletter only comes out once a week. Mm -hmm. We don't inundate you. It's Saturday morning when you're the least busy, and you get that, more, that, that week's radio show, right? But the problem with our newsletter, Pete, is that we got so much going on, it's hard to put it. You know, like most newsletters, you get a mm -hmm. newsletter, and it talks about one thing. But with mm -hmm. us, you go to what you get the newsletter, and it's like, we're doing this, and then we're going to go over there and do that. And there's... So much going on, so it's kind of hard. But I want to remind everybody, Father's Day is coming up pretty quick. Yeah. If you go to ourdeepadventure.com and you look around up in the top, you'll see, you'll see the store. We have got manly stuff going on there. We've got the deep, my, my books, Deep in the Way of a Surfing Guide to the Soul, Deep Adventure the Way of Heroic Virtue. We've got the Warrior Rosaries, two of mm -hmm. them, the Paracord and the Hematite one. And we have the, the Long Ride Home Coffee Cups. And uh, there's something I'm missing. There's something else there. You got long ride home t-shirts too. Oh, the biggest thing that we have on our man on our man cave website is if you're on if you're watching this on the video version, you'll see I'm putting it up. Oh my gosh! Do you know what the biggest seller Cindy was telling me this yesterday? It's our seven virtue cigars. Men really like to be manly. Mm -hmm. They do. They want to be a Christian, but they don't want to be a Homer's next door neighbor, you know. And the man cave cigars. Last weekend, my three sons and I sat down in the backyard of one of my sons' house, and we all had a man cave cigar there's each there's seven cigars in the sampler each of them representing one of the virtues there's a beautiful renaissance a uh, kind of image of the woman that represents that particular virtue but when you smoke the cigar you unpeel it you have to unpeel the label at the bottom so you can really enjoy the full cigar when you unpeel the man cave label inside for that particular cigar for example if it's the Caraggio cigar you know, for courage, for fortitude. Mm -hmm. There's a quote from my book on that particular virtue. And what's really, really happening, really, 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 really is happening is men will invite their friends over for a shot of whiskey and a cigar. And next thing you know, they're talking about the virtues instead of whatever. But so, yeah, go to deepadventure.com, go to our web store and get some. We'll, we'll, we can get everything to you in time for Father's Day. Uh, this is Bear Wozniak. We'll be right back with Pete Sox and the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Aloha, and welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. This is your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. And man, I, bet I spent four or five months in Hawaii just surfing like crazy and then came home and went from Hawaii to Greece. So that's a 13-hour time change. <laughs> and now I'm back home, and I'm just now kind of, I'm back home in Florida. And right now, so I'm just kind of, kind of sorting my brain out a little bit. We, we have, as our guest today, Someone who's been a faithful member of our ministry now for over three years, maybe four years. I don't know how long, but Pete, about Pete, three. Pete yeah, but it seems like 20, doesn't it? <laughs> we have Pete Sox on, on our show. He has his own podcast called Off the Shelf, 
which tell them a little bit about your podcast. It's pretty cool. Uh, what I what I do every week is I interview a different Catholic author about their books. Uh, I predominantly focus on newer releases, and uh, it's about a forty five minute show. Um, so we get in depth about what their book's about and tell people how to get it. And uh, their books that grab my attention. Uh, one of the things I've been doing for seven years now is book reviews. So they readily come to my doorstep. So the hardest thing I have is picking out 52 of them in a year to do an interview a week. Uh, I know you want to do 300, right? It's tough. Uh, yeah. do, you read, do you read about how many books a week do you work, do you read? I read a book a week. A book a week, uh, yeah. When so I started hard. reviewing books, I'm, I'm, one of my conditions was I have to read the book because I can't give it a fair review or be able to interview the author properly if I don't know the content of the book. You know who does a really good job like that too? You do that a really good job and Doug Keck does too, man. Mm -hmm. When you're on his book show, it's like, I remember I, he, he interviewed me about one of my books I had written like a few years earlier. And dude, I couldn't remember the answers to his questions. <laughs> it's, so it's, it's, no, but it is good. It really shows respect for the author. And Pete also uh, authors our newsletter and really works in, in all of our social media. So he's a very, he, he's kind of the, the reason why you receive uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, from Deep Adventure Ministries. So we're kind of having a time uh, this weekend. Coming up on Father's Day, we want to invite people. We've got great stuff for dads. If you uh, were to sponsor him a monthly donation in our Patreon uh, level at $25, he would receive all of season one of, of Long Ride Home. Of course, you can do it for yourself too, but our Patreon donors go to deepadventure.com and then click on the Patreon button there's different levels you can donate at, but if you donate, it starts as low as $5, but if you donate at the $25 level, then you get access to all of season one of our TV show, Long Ride Home, The Motorcycle Show. All of season two, right now, the director's cut before it even airs on EWTN, which will be in September first in the first part of September, and then you'll actually get episode one of season three sometime in the next five weeks which it won't even air for over a year from now. Plus, you get all the Bear Wozniak Adventure videos, a video version of the Bear Wozniak Adventure radio show, mm -hmm. like sometimes 10, 10, uh, 10 weeks before it airs on EWTN. So, so we really, uh, really ask you, go to our brand new website, deepadventure.com, click on the Patreon donation. Anyone who donates, who becomes a monthly donor, uh, in the, uh, between now and the end of the summer, will be getting a free copy of my latest book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue. You can do $5 a month, uh, you can do as much as uh, as much as you want, actually. If you want to be a member of the Founder Circle, that's a hundred dollars a month. But we really, uh, we really uh, need people to give because this mm -hmm. this uh, this radio show is not sponsored by EWTN. We have we kind of have to raise those funds ourselves, and the TV show only about a fourth of it is. So we really, it's it's the Holy Spirit and the and our viewers and listeners that help us. Right, and then, and then you know that's the the thing about ministry and and. You know, you alluded to it a little bit back in segment one when someone had asked, you know, how do you raise the funds for this? It, relying relying on the Lord and the Holy Spirit to provide it, that's something I've seen you do since we've been together. And, and it, it always seems to happen. But, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's important. Been a, it's been a miracle when we first started uh, EWTN said, we're going to, not when we first started the radio show, but the TV show, they said, we're going to provide this much funding, which is about a fourth of what we needed. And uh, I don't. I said, okay. Well, they said they want it. We're going to proceed. I, didn't, you know, I don't. I didn't have a penny to uh, set aside to do that. And two days later, I was sitting in a coffee shop, and a man came up and said, "What's up? What's up, Bear?" I was in Hawaii, and and I go, "I'm working on a new TV show. What's it about?" I told him. He goes, "Well, I'll give you the seed money to get the first season done. You know, to get to get the to get Long Ride Home started. So that was like a, a wind in our sails." Right. Mm -hmm. But now I realize it's kind of like uh, I remember there was this this uh, this old film. I think it was called Lily's. Uh, I forget what it was called. It was about some nuns out in the desert in Arizona someplace or I don't know where. And uh, um, Sidney Poitier, I think, was in it. And uh, they uh, they had a printing press and they didn't know it needed oil. And the whole time that they had this printing press running, running, running for a couple of years, it ran just fine without oil. And then the, the, the salesman came and said, you guys got to put oil in this every week. And they go, what? And then once they, they found that out, the machine wouldn't work if they didn't take care of it. I kind of feel like that in the ministry, that we're at that point now where God put wind in our sails, and we, we, we have tons of great content. We have over 500 videos up on YouTube, for example. 
and books and all the other stuff. But now I think the Lord's saying, get real. You need to establish your, you need to establish a, a monthly residual of donors so that we can count on it and keep things going. And really our budget isn't that significant, but it's about 15 uh, to 20,000 a month to do all that we, all that we need to do. So we're, we're kind of reaching out right now, uh, especially coming up on Father's Day mm -hmm. uh, uh, for maybe uh, people to give a gift in their, in their dad's name to uh, a monthly donation or, or for the men to say, I'm going to man up and I'm going to donate. I, I, I watch this. I love this. I believe in this. I should be part of contributing to it. Absolutely. You know, one of the things we haven't talked about yet, and, and I think I mentioned it uh, earlier, is this Bear's Man Cave thing. What is Bear's Man Cave? I'm so excited about that, and we barely scratched the surface of what our intentions are with the man cave. Uh, so we're just kind of establishing that. We had to focus on so many other things. But right now, uh, what it is is men can become part of my man cave, and they can only do that by going to deepadventure.com and signing up. But when they do, then we, we, we kind of screen people too because we have a few people that wanted to join that would be totally inappropriate to be a part of this group. But it's not like we put people through a big screening. We, we just have some had, you know, there's always kind of crazies that show up. But if they join the man cave through our website, deepadventure.com, we give them access to the secret Facebook group called Bear's Man Cave. Don't bother going there and saying, asking us to invite you because you won't be able to join there. You have to go through the website because it requires a $15 a month donation. And if you're, if you're man enough to man up and do that donation, then you get to be part of the man cave. And then what we do is, is the men there... Uh, uh, I post things regularly there. There, Sometimes it's a quote from someone. Sometimes it's something, one of my Bear Wozniak on chain or maybe my radio show or different things like that. Right now I'm actually posting excerpts from my new book, 26 Rules for Manliness, the, the uh, antidote to the toxic masculinity scam. So I'm just writing that now. So as I, I'm posting that and getting comments from the men as I'm writing, so I'm getting good feedback. But every two or three weeks, Pete, we have a Bears Man cave meetup. We do a, what's a video chat and it's pretty cool and it's really easy to do. And there'll be maybe 20 men on the screen at a time. <clears throat> and we talk story a little bit. A lot of those men, our goal is to help them launch into their own ministry. Like one of the men last night said he's just volunteered to be on the church council. Um, another man uh, does um, evening rosaries every night, uh, prays the rosary on Facebook live. Uh, several of the men have started their own local man cave groups where they get together with men once a week and, and uh, go right, right now a lot of them go through my book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue. So the whole thing about the man cave is we get real with each other. Like lately I've been challenging them on, when's the last time you gave your wife a flower? When is the last time you stopped her and told her you loved her? What are you doing to show your wife every day that you cherish her? And I'm also releasing these copies of my book, my, my, um, you know, each chapter as I get it done there, and letting them comment on it. So... Uh, so the man cave is a place for men to get real with each other, to challenge each other, to encourage each other. And we really get to know each other. And usually the man cave video meetup is in the evenings. And uh, like last night, I had a nice cigar and a shot of whiskey. A lot of the men don't drink, but some do. And we just get to be men together. We hang out and talk a little bit. And then we go through, right now we're going through Deep Adventure, the way of heroic virtue. So go to deepadventure.com and uh, join up. It's $15 a month it's, and, it, and it helps our ministry. And it's going to be, it's a great blessing to you. We're talking with Pete Sox. He's our social media uh, person, and he uh, has Breadbox. He's a, I, I think you're the marketing executive for Breadbox Media, right? General manager of Breadbox Media is my official title. I guess general manager. Say. And yes. so uh, he's both the general and a manager. But we'll be right back <laughs> with more of uh, the Bear Wozniak adventure. Aloha, this is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak, coming to you at 90 words per minute, gusting to 160 words per minute. The one thing I get from people is slow down a little bit, but I can't help it. I get too excited. We have Pete Sox with us. He's, our, he's the general manor, manager of Breadbox Media, which is a podcast um, network you can get access to. His show, Off the Shelf, is on there, and we're going to be soon our show, uh, maybe on that podcast too. Our show is on all kinds of podcasts, but you can watch the Bear Wozniak Adventure, if you want to, on our YouTube channel. And if you do that, you get to see what Pete looks like. And he's wearing a clean shirt today. That's nice. Yeah, today. Yeah, today. Just, just for you, Bear. Yeah, just for me. And I, I did, too. I wore this a little bit yesterday afternoon. But 
there. I didn't spill anything on it, so I'm wearing it again today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you can watch our video. So uh, Pete's kind of doing a little bit with this show of kind of introducing you, everyone, catching them up on what our ministry is up to. You know, we talked about the newsletter. I think one thing that we, we missed there is there is a lot of stuff going on with Deep Adventure Ministries. And one of the things that I integrate into that newsletter each week are three points uh, from you that you want to highlight that happened that week. It could be one of the Unchained, it could be an Ocean Sunrise Catechism, it could be something you wrote. Um, but essentially, it's it's it really if you subscribe to that, you're really getting to the heartbeat of the ministry. What's going on? What special things are planned? Um, you know, again. Barry, you mentioned this a couple times before uh, today while we're, we're together here, but Father's Day is coming up, and you know, there's some pretty neat stuff in the in the Deep Adventure uh, Ministry store. Uh, the cigars you talked about, I know they're pretty popular. Um, they're the most so, popular thing we have. Yeah. More popular than the Warrior Rosary in my well, book. Well, just get into the Warrior yeah. Rosary. Yeah. Those two Warrior Rosaries are, are awesome. Uh, Gorelli Rosaries, I believe, are the, the manufacturers of them. Um, Tell us about them, because I know uh, you said that the, the hematite rosary totally changed your uh, intercessory prayer life. So yeah, can Tom, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, Tom Sullivan uh, gave me one of his warrior rosaries, so now we have his stuff on our website. When I was on, um, on uh, you know, the show that he produces on EWTN, uh, before I left, he gave me one of those. And it, because it was manly and heavy, the hematite was heavy, I felt mm -hmm. like I was whole, it, well, it is made out of the same stuff that chain mails made out of you know mm -hmm. i began to feel more manly when i began to when i prayed the rosary but i also found that it's a beautiful rosary it's not something i want to take to the beach when i'm you know walking and praying the rosary so and then i got the paracord rosary which i really like that's rugged enough to put in my motorcycle vest you know while mm -hmm. i'm riding or i could take it on the beach with me it's what i throw in my backpack you know mm -hmm. but to me um to me you know people really have a devotion to Mary. I was in Mary's uh, home in Ephesus eight days ago. Mm -hmm. And there's a preciousness about our mother. But I, I, I have to say that my primary relationship with Mary uh, at this point, it's, it needs to grow more, is when I'm going to go to war, I go with Mary. Mm -hmm. When I need to go into spiritual warfare and pray, I grab my rosary, man. It's like, I feel like, you know, I'm a ninja, a second degree ninja uh, black belt. I've trained in five or six, maybe more different types of martial arts. I love training with weapons. My favorite thing to do is to fight someone with a knife with myself, you know, being unarmed. I, I love, I love the physicality of it. I love the, I love, I love that combative feeling of it. Mm -hmm. Praying the rosary gives me that same feeling. I know that uh, when I go to, go to prayer with Mary, it's just really cool to see stuff happen. It's like I'm going behind enemy lines and making stuff happen. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that rosary is something, uh, it would be a great gift to give uh, for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And we can get it pe to people on Father's Day if they order, you know, right away because it's, Father's Day is coming up. But it's a great, it's a great gift. It's a very manly gift. So, I mean, we covered a lot of ground here about Deep Adventure Ministries. What do you see the future holding uh, for this ministry? What, where, what future series of Long Ride Home do you have? What, what all do you have planned for the ministry? People don't even know. We've already got season three, four, and five in the can. We're filming mm -hmm. five and six this summer, and EW10 is just getting around to filming, uh, to showing season two. Yeah. So uh, Long Ride Home will go, is, is, goes through its, little, its evolution over time, and uh, we're excited about, about uh, the transition that it goes through. But uh, Long Ride Home, is, is I'm thrilled about that. I, I want to start doing a lot more with YouTube because 80% of 70% uh, to 80% of YouTube hours are, for, are men watching. Women tend to buy books. Men love YouTube. So my books, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue, and Deep in the Way of a Surfing Guide to the Soul, and my new book coming out, 26 Rules for Manliness, the Antidote to the Toxic Masculinity Scam. That will be coming out soon. That's something you get at, the web, at our website. Women love to buy that for their men. But the YouTube area, I want to start having more fun, more access. Our Bear Wozniak on chain, my wife and I have a blast. We do some really funny stuff together. It's very entertaining. 
And oh, good, a new on chain is up, and people get it subscribed to the Bear Wozniak YouTube channel, and then they get the new on chain. They go, "This is hysterical. This is absolutely." It's, Cindy is really funny. She's really clever, and we're really good together as a team. And then the next on chain might m might be me ranting about, uh, um, or, or really going deep in the Lord. So the idea is between the little two and three minute on chain episodes, is to have some fun, uh, but also surprise people and give them some real boom, heavy duty content and then have fun again and then do something cinematic. So the on chain lets me do whatever I want, talk about anything I want to. And it really, it's a great evangelistic tool. For sure. Uh, we covered a lot of ground here today. Is there anything I missed that you want to share? I want to talk to Knights on bikes. There you go. You Let's bikers out there, you Knights on bikes, Knights of Columbus needs to be revitalized. And we have a special for Knights on Bikes, Emmaus Riders, Catholic Cross Bears, Catholic Bikers, non-Catholic Bikers, any kind of biker. If you go to deepadventure.com, what everybody else, you can donate for $20 a month and you can have access to all of the Long Ride Home Show. Now, the normal person has to pay $25 a month, but we know bikers aren't normal. So we're giving you, you Knights on Bikes members uh, access because you do so much for us. Ace Bagley is on our board of directors and and you're going to be you're helping us out. We're filming uh, with you guys in another month or two months, we'll be filming with you the big 1,000 members. 1,000 people of the Knights on Bikes are joining up in August, and Eric Wardrum and his Catholic Cross Bears, about 150 of them are joining up. Uh, we're going to be going to both those locations. They're only a day apart and 150 miles apart. So because you guys do so much for us, if you remember those Knights on Bikes, Emmaus Riders, Catholic Cross Bears, Iron Deacons, any of those, uh, you can go to our deepadventure.com site and donate $20 a month. And you know what? You need to. If you enjoy what we do, if you feel it has an impact, you need to go and help us continue to deliver this kind of content because it's expensive and, uh, and you should do it. I, you know, it's interesting to me uh, to see uh, as a Catholic man who's also a CPA, when I do, men, when I do uh, my Protestants um, tax returns, I got to tell you, a lot of them give 10%. A lot of Catholics give tip money to the church. But if we want this new evangelization to, to, to really have an impact, it takes fuel to make that happen. So if you believe in this ministry, this radio show is not supported by EWTN in any way. Our TV show, only about a fourth of the money comes in for that. And we do so much more than all of that. So we rely on the, on you help us to evangelize. And we're giving you the tools to evangelize. You can go to our our Bear Wozniak YouTube channel and, and subscribe to it, and then you can press the share button and share any one of those 550 videos that we have. I don't know anybody that has as much content as we do. Do you, Pete? Mm. We deliver a lot. Yep, yeah. Radio, yeah. TV, YouTube, books. Uh, mm -hmm. We do. We deliver a lot. And so we really, we really need to ask people to help us out. And then so, go to deepadventure.com to do that. Well, yeah. So one question I got to ask because, you know, I'm the book guy. We keep talking about this book, um, the new in your writing. What is this book about? I am, I am, I don't know how to say it. It's just like I'm flat out just telling it like it is to men. Just flat out telling them like it is in every year. For example, one of my chapters, I tell them that you need to learn how to physically fight. You know, you don't you see that in a Catholic spiritual book. You know, you need to know how to physically defend yourself. You need to understand situational awareness. You need to, uh, you need to know how to protect your, your family. That's one of the chapters. I talk to young men. If you're dating a woman and you've been dating her for a couple of years and you're not re ready to ask her to marry her, then you better bounce and let her find a real man who will marry her. Uh, I talk about um, the fact that you're made in the image of God and, and, and that God has a purpose and a plan for your life and, and, uh, and just how uh, God has given you that dignity uh, to spend eternity with him and how to respond to that. I talk about the seven virtues, but I just really get really direct. I took the gloves off. I'm taking the gloves off with this book. So mm -hmm. uh, people can go to our website, deepadventure.com, and subscribe to the newsletter. And when the book comes out, uh, they'll be the first to know. And the title of that book again is going to be? I think the working title, and you know how working titles go, but the working title mm -hmm. is 26 Rules for Manliness. You know, I'm a Benedictine oblate. I believe in the rules of St. Benedict, right? There's, these are rules. But the book is more like a MacGyver tool. You know, like you, you can read the first chapter, but then you can go into any particular chapter you want to and use that rule as a tool, basically, for what you, where you are in life. I'd like to see people go through everything. They don't have to go through sequentially. 
It's just there for them to uh, to use in, in real gritty way. And I tell them this book is dangerous. Don't don't. It's a, there should be a warning label on it. <laughs> you know, God is dangerous. You know, the beginning, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You should be dangerous too, as a man. When you get up in the morning, the devil should say, "Oh no, he's up." Mm-hmm. But I think we've run out of time, Pete. You want to yeah. you want to tell them where to go to get everything, well, access you our go ministry, right to deepadventureministries.com. And you can get access to everything. All the links are there to get you to YouTube, to sign up for the newsletter. Everything's available right there centrally on the website. Easy access. And please, uh, I'm not going to, I just, it's hard for me to do this, but please, um, in the spirit of St. Francis who begged, uh, we're asking you, please help our ministry. We need to, we want to, we got so much that we want to do and we need your help. So. We appreciate what you do give to us in terms of prayer and your support and your finances. So thank you very much. Until next week, this is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Thank you, Pete Sox, for being with us. You're welcome. And may the breath of the Holy Spirit aloha you. Aloha. You've been listening to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Go to bearwozniak.com to get your free audio and other exciting content. Plus, you can pick up the Long Ride Home 10-episode DVD set, autographed copies of Bear's books, Long Ride Home shirts, tanks, coffee cups, and even motorcycle pins and patches. And find out how guys can sign up for Bear's Man Cave online Facebook group, all at bearwozniak.com. 